Hey guys, so welcome to another tutorial today, and this is going to be looking at creating the Battle Royale Call of Duty esque UI system with a program behind it to pick up items and do things from there. So you can go to the Unity Asset Store and download my Battle Royale UI system for free. I'll leave a link in the description so you can get all the starter assets with it, with the sprites and stuff that I've included. It will come with all the scripts, but we'll look at creating the actual UI first. So when we're in our scene, what we can do is we can go to the 2D view. We can right click in our hierarchy and choose right click UI and go canvas. Once we've got our canvas, we can just press F to zoom into that. Now we've got our canvas here. What we can do is we can set that to scale with the screen height and width. We'll go 1920 by 1080 because that's just regular sort of default resolutions. So I'm just going to rename this to my battle UI canvas to make things easier. And then from there, I'll right click on this and choose a UI and I will choose a panel. And then we're on this panel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the actual anchor to the bottom left. So we then we get a width and height that we can set. I'm going to set this to about 540 by 110. So we get a nice little rectangle here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this down toward the bottom of our screen as so. And then we can see it in our screen down here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the color to black just so we can see it's got a little bit of transparency by if we move the slider across, but we'll keep it and do it however you want. So I'm going to rename this panel and I'm just going to call this to, for, to visual and I will call this the BG panel. So that's of the entire UI itself. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I'm just going to duplicate that object again and I've got it there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to about 62 by 62 and I'm just going to put this along the right hand side here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the actual image type to the armor vest UI sprite. So I've got it there. And what I can do is I can set that to a white. And then we've just got our vest UI. So we're just going to follow what it was in the sort of Call of Duty game. So what we want to do is what we could put under there is we could put the actual number that we want to have the amount that we're going to actually use. So what we can do is we can right click on this again, go UI and choose image. And again, I can set this to the bottom left. So it anchors it and I will set this to a width of 45 by 45. And I'll just drag this down and drag it below my object here. Just put it in between our, just where the center of our vest or armor play it could be we can right click on this image and we can go UI and choose text and we're going to put this inside this so we're just going to call this we'll call this armor amount background because that's going to be the image that holds the text and the text is going to be the armor amount UI and what we'll do is we'll just set this to default to zero set the text size to 20 then what we'll do is we'll make sure that the bounding box of the text is just around the box that we just created and we'll center and center that text so it's there perfectly where we might want it. You can potentially change the background and just make it slightly dimmer like so. You could even change the opacity slightly to a match with the one above. What we're going to have is we're going to have in the Call of Duty one we have a place for our name. So we'll go UI text and we'll have a text component and this is just going to be our the name UI so the name of the object will again set that to the bottom left because that's where I want to anchor it and I will set this and just put it closer to the top here and 160 by 30 is absolutely fine for this what I might do is I'm just might write and just name in capitals there and set the text size to 20, the center of the vertical align of the box that we've got and set the font color to white. So once we've got that, we're going to need the bars that we're going to use for this. So what we'll do is we'll create a normal bar for this one, for this instance. So what we'll do is what we'll do is right click on it again, go UI and choose image again, set the anchor to the bottom left. We will move it down here. We'll just snap it with the edge of the name. And what I'm going to do is set this to about 490 and this is going to be 10. So we get a really long and thin bar like this. 
So what I'll do is I'll just snap that to the top of that name like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this to a more gray and have this slightly opaque so we can see through it. And that's going to act as the background for our actual image itself. So we'll just call this normal health UI VG because this is not thing, something we're going to actually edit. Then what we can do is we can have, we can just duplicate the same one as we just had. And then we'll call this normal health bar, for instance. And then the normal health bar will be something over the top. So we can set this to a solid white. We can put the opacity back to full. And what we can do then is on this image here, we're going to need to specify in both of these, in one of these instances or both, it depends. I've created a default sprite, which is just a 512 by 64 um, pixel sprite, which is just a really long, thin box that's going to act as our health bar. So if we add that to our slot there, which is on the normal health bar, it's going to let us choose the image type. So we're going to set this to filled. Then we're going to choose that it's going to be a horizontal bar that we're going to fill. We're going to fill from the left and you can see that it will now move down from one to zero, just like we would expect a health bar to do that. So that's perfect with how we wanted it to start with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in the canvas again, just create an empty game object. And I'm going to again set that to the bottom left with the anchor reset rename that and call this the normal health bar container so we can just keep everything organized so we'll keep the health bar and the background in there and we'll keep them both together and what we can do at any time is we can just grab that folder and then just move it down vertically slightly and so in the game you have three sections so three single sections for the health bar so what we can do is we can take this what we've just created and we can just really duplicate the normal health bar container. We'll drag it above and we'll just call this one the armor health bar container. And then we can drop this down and we'll have the two different ones that we had before, which is fine. We can use the UI background BG and we can just make sure that we select the rec tool to drag it up and we can set this just here, which is just aligned with the normal text. We can just rename this to the armor bar BG one, and that's going to be perfect for this. And we're going to just scale this down to about 160 and keep that at 10. So we can match that up with the beginning of the text again. We'll put it around there. And what we can do is we can duplicate that a few times and we'll just bring it up and we'll just put them next to each other. And we can just increment the name by one. So then what we can do is we can just select it and just move it across like so. And we can just snap them with small pieces, with a small gap between each one. And we can do the same thing with the other. So we've added them like so. Then when we've got our normal health bar, what we can do is we can do the same thing. We'll just drag it down and we'll just snap the size exactly how we want. And we'll just put it over the top and it'll work in exactly the same way. So now you've got the health bar, which is over the top. And we'll call this one the armor bar UI one. Then I'll duplicate the other as you expect. Just drag this over. And then on the last one, drag that and place that over the other one. And we can just finish this up by just selecting that container again for the other health, just moving it up slightly to just match them together. We could take the actual armor bar UIs and just set their color to more of a blue. And then what we can do is right click our canvas, go UI, choose text. And when we've got our text selected, again, we can drag it down. We can put it towards the bottom of our screen, make sure we anchor to the bottom left, set the color again to white and set that to 20 to the vertical middle. And then just, we could just give this a dollar sign and we could just pull that in. So this is just gonna act as our way to check how much money we have. And we'll just set that like so. And then what I'll do is I'll put this at the top and just call this visual and dollar sign because the visual things are never gonna move or never going to change. So we can then grab the dollar sign, duplicate it, and underneath the name, we can just call this cash UI. And we can just put that right next to the money itself. And we can just press zero. And then when we actually get more, we can fill it in. And as I'm filling it in, it's not getting bigger. So we just need to drag this box out. And so we can make it as long as we need to. So that'll probably be enough 
but we can just set this as default to zero. So as you can see, we've got the very start of, we can now increment the name in code. By changing it, we can increment the amount of cash that we've got in code. We can set the amount of armor that we've got in code, and we can then adjust each of the health bars that we might want to use by adjusting that value from one to zero. So in this next part, I will show you how to do the programming behind